guys, welcome to Most Craved. I'm Jenna Bush with Legion of Leia. I'm William Bibiani with Crave Online, and hey, nostalgia is a thing. Is it? Is it though? It's totes a thing because okay. uh, nowadays, you know, it used to be like, oh, they're remaking everything, and and they were rebooting everything. They're and still that, doing that. And now it's just like, hey, you know that show you liked? Well, none of those actors are are doing anything interesting right now, so we can get them all back and bring back. Gilmore Girls and Fuller House and Mystery Science Theater 3000. Well, that, that's fine. That's totally that's fine. fine. I'm actually fine with Mystery yeah, yeah, Science yeah. Theater 3000. Yeah. But they're doing all these shows and they're not even rebooting them. They're just trying to bring them back to appease the original fans. And in some cases, that sounds really, really exciting. I'm very curious to see what David Lynch is going to do with Twin Peaks. Yeah, I am too. And in some cases, it's been kind of disappointing. The first two episodes of The X-Files in particular yeah. were a huge letdown. And it made me wonder maybe this isn't always the best approach. Maybe uh, sometimes the creators of something don't have their fingers on the pulse of why people like them. Case in point, Star Wars. Uh, George Lucas kind of lost track, I think, of why a lot of people uh, love this creation. About, we're talking about Lucas. I'll, I'm there with you. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then s they brought in some new, some, some fresh voices. Right. And yeah, it plays a lot like the original, but at the very least, it feels like Star Wars again, and people can get behind it. So I, I hope the Gilmore Girls fans are super stoked about getting more Gilmore Girls and answering the unresolved questions of who murdered the haberdasher. And I, I didn't actually watch. Gilmore I have Girls. never I've never seen Gilmore Girls, but people who <laughs> love Gilmore Gil Girls love Gilmore they Girls. They are freaking out. I want to see a spinoff called Gilmore Guys. <laughs> And they have guns. No, you and don't. And they solve murders. You don't want to see that. And punch werewolves. Oh, you would watch that. I know that. I would watch someone punch You would a watch werewolf. that. Yeah. But, but it got yeah. us thinking we want to talk about, um, you know, this is a big cottage industry now, bringing yeah. back old shows. And not just bringing them back, not just doing them again, but actually trying to recapture what made them work in the first place as opposed to updating them for the present day. So we wanted to come up with some ideas, we'll give you free ideas. All we ask for are royalty checks. Sure. Uh, for shows we'd like to see come back. And Jenna, why don't you uh, take us away? Is there anything um, you'd like to see come back? Well, there. I mean, there are a couple things. And I think it's, it, for the most part, I, I'm not a huge fan of this because, you know, like, I'll read the novelizations where something goes on, but I don't know. I mean, and I did love Star Wars. I did love seeing what happened to the characters. Obviously, I love Star Wars. No one needs this news. <laughs> but, um, but, like, there are definitely shows I'd like to see, you know, what happened, something like Firefly. Mm. Now, I know it's never going to happen. I know. You don't have to tell me. I already know it's never going to happen. But let us let us fantasize. Yes, but I, but that is something where like it obviously ended way too early. It was only mm -hmm. one season. Um, they've they continued the story in comic books and all of that. Um, but it is something where I would like to see what happened after. We did get the movie Serenity, so we did see that is sort of what season two would have been. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to see more of that. I definitely mm -hmm. would. Though I'm not on, I'm not entirely sure it would work. I'm not sure it would work, and I'm not sure that if like that much time has passed in the world of the Firefly universe, I'm not sure most of that crew would be alive. Right. My thing is, if you bring back Firefly, don't bother bringing back the whole cast. It's just Nathan Fillion, Summer Glau, everyone else died off camera, no! and then like you have a whole new crew. What's no, wrong like with that you? would be so exciting. That no, would be so great. Morena Bachran. No, no, bring her back. I would. Jewel Fate. On a similar note, I would kill to see a revival of Farscape. Oh, God, I love that Farscape show so would be the much. coolest thing ever. That and, would be cool. And they had an ongoing arc on that show, which was really incredible. Like, not enough people watch Farscape. That show was fantastic. Oh, my God. And it I love concluded it. reasonably satisfactorily yeah. in the, in the miniseries finale. But they're still dicks. Like, yeah. they're still <laughs> jerks. They're still just thieves wandering the universe, doing horrible things. We never got to uh, the home planet of, right. uh, of was it? Rigel. Rigel. Thank yeah. you, I want to say Rigel. Yeah. yeah. We Who never got to his home planet. How can you miss this show? Yeah, it would be, it would be totally awesome. Another thing I would want to see, uh, Clarissa explains the rest of it. <laughs> Melissa Joan I, Hart. I don't, I, Melissa sure. Joan Hart, just, it's basically like <laughs> Sex and the City, but it's Clarissa. Same format. Did she get the gremlin? I, Did she not get the gremlin? We'll find out. Uh, and, it, and maybe she has, like, a kid of her own, and she has to, like, explain things to the kid. And I don't realize, need to see that. You see it from the two perspectives. We don't need to see that? You don't want to see this? No. But I didn't watch that show to begin with. So oh, I, I, I watched the show, and it was funny. Yeah. Now, another one that I would... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mental pictures. Um, yeah. I would really love to see what happened to everybody in Deadwood. I think they're trying to do that they as a are. movie. They are, yeah. Okay. That'd yeah, be cool. but that show, that show was fantastic, and that was another one that was ended too early. It wasn't wrapped up. Mm -hmm. It's set, you know, it's it's the old West. Like I would like to see where that went and yeah. where all those characters. I mean, and they're they're based on characters that we're very familiar with. So 
Yeah. Even though they're sort of, well, not all of them, but yeah. but it was so good, God. And that was, I, I, I came to it late. I watched all of them, like, years after the show was on. And I was like, why did they end it? And then everyone's like, yeah, we've talked about this for years. I would like to see a revival of Captain Planet. And here's the cool <laughs> thing about Captain Planet. If you haven't seen Captain Planet in a while, this is one of the most, like, unapologetically liberal shows in the history of everything. <laughs> Like, every bad guy is now, like, a senator in the Republican Party. <laughs> Just say, like, climate change isn't real. We need to give more money to oil. Those were the cartoonishly over-the-top oh bad guys God. in Captain Planet. The protests alone would be so great. And they were played by people like Meg Ryan. Like, it's like people <laughs> got their community service written off after their DUIs <laughs> by appearing as a bad guy in Captain Planet and teaching kids a viable oh. lesson about the environment. Bring back Captain Planet. That would be awesome. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. See, okay, now I would like I would like to forget that the last season of Battlestar Galactica happened <laughs> and bring that back, but end it differently. How about that? How about if a show has a really unsatisfying ending, like Lost, mm -hmm. you, you could bring it back and just redo the last season. That's what they do in movies. Yes. Like, oh, the, all those Halloween sequels you didn't like? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> we don't care. I don't know about Battlestar Galactica, though, because they no, did I'm, that. No, I'm actually they, kidding. They did that with Battlestar Galactica in the original series, and it was like, oh, you know that really dissatisfying ending of Battlestar Galactica? Now they're on Earth in the 80s. I know, and I'm totally oh. kidding. I actually loved the show. I mean, I loved Battlestar Galactica, except yeah. for the ending. The ending, I, I will say this for the ending. At least they answered almost all of the questions. That's true. More than Lost can say. What was Starbucks? What? What? Starbuck there's a little Starbucks in all of us. No, all I don't understand. I just want to know what the ghosts were. Like were they like angels? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Please, please tell us if you yeah. know. Please tell us. Um, and I don't mean that you have a theory. I mean, if they actually, the creators actually specifically ever said. Yeah. Uh, there's one thing for Enigma, and there's another thing for we're just being jerks about it. Yeah. Um, murder, she tweeted. <laughs> Angela Lansbury is still around. I will we, watch her do anything. I, I just want to wrap it up with like one mini series that reveals that Jessica Fletcher was actually the murderer every single time, because that's one hell of a coincidence. That this yes. old lady goes to your town and writes about murders and someone dies every single time. Oh. I think that's crap. I want like a sci-fi ending to that. Like I want Ooh. her to, I want her to like, the, it, it is her. It's like she's influencing people to go crazy. Uh -huh. yeah. or, or she went back in time, all those people needed to die in order to save the future. Oh, wow. Yeah. You've gotten deep. In all fairness though, we all know the only real answer to this is Quantum Leap. Yes. Oh, God. Because Quantum Leap didn't end. No. They said he never went home. He never got they home just, again. They so didn't know, can still go on. They didn't know the last episode was going to be their last episode. So just at the end of the episode, there was like a black screen and like a blurb that just says, and he never got home. Oh. Well, screw you, Quantum Leap. I know. I so love that around. show. I'm Quantum Leap right now. I, what? <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't get a Quantum Leap reboot off the ground, I'll never leap. I, I don't know what to do with that. If you're ever bored watching a historical movie, imagine that one of the characters is quantum leaped. Oh, God. Watch that movie Stonewall about the Stonewall riots. And I there's thought like you were going to tell kid. me to watch it stoned. Well, you can. But <laughs> no, Roland Emmerich did this really terrible movie about the Stonewall riots. Good idea, bad movie. And there's this like kid who has no, just has to have everything explained to him and nothing makes sense <laughs> why he's there. He leaped. That's the only way the movie <laughs> oh, makes God. sense. It's the worst episode of Quantum Leap ever, but at least it's Quantum Leap. Okay, wait, I have a, I have a, a one. I want um, okay. a Downton Abbey revival because I'm not ready for it to end. Oh. Is that wrong? That I want yes. it to be, have a revival like next year? Well, you just want it not were... to get canceled. Well, that's, it that's already okay. was, though, but they stopped production. Uh, and now I'm sad. Well, they stopped production on Full House, too, and we're getting more of that. I, yeah, that, I, I miss that. I, that whole <laughs> thing just right over my head. I'm you know, not... I, th I, think, I think at least one of the Golden Girls is still around. We can probably... We could... Just one Golden Girl. So just like <laughs> one camera up on her in yeah, the home. Just chilling. <laughs> just waiting. <laughs> She'll do something I, eventually. I, wow. <laughs> Yeah, but but honestly, like I'm not 100% sure I love the idea of these things. Just because I I mean, if you've solved the puzzle, if you finished the story, like mm -hmm. I don't need to know what happened later on. No one can accuse the X-Files of having solved the puzzle. However. Well, that is actually true. And I yes. wonder, I honestly think that maybe the X-Files and some of these shows would be better with a reboot. Yeah, no one needs a full house reboot. It doesn't really matter. No. Fine. That's fine. But the X-Files that really need to that really doesn't fit in today's paradigm either as a story or thematically and I just think going from scratch it might have seemed like sacrilege but the original was fine it's influential it would have survived uh, tell us what shows you would like to see come back properly come back with the original cast with the original creators Firefly uh, fire, fire, Firefly 
Mm. Uh, you can tweet us about it in this sort of general direction here, at most creative. <laughs> and uh, you can come back every week for more stuff, which is what we do. You're welcome. That was good. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.